Ugh, happy Wednesday, Internet. So today we're talking about visual effects in education. Do you need to go to school to be a visual effects artist? Find out right after this. Just kidding, there is no intro. I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah. All right, guys, so like I mentioned in my update video, there are gonna be a lot more uh, videos in 2018. This is just the start of it. So if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell is on for notifications so you never miss a new video. This video is about a question I get asked a lot, especially by new people trying to get into visual effects is, do I need to go to school to be a visual effects artist? And the answer is, it depends. This is just my opinion, but I think that there are two types of learners when it comes to, uh, you know, acquiring new skills. And they're those people that like to get their hands dirty, that you know are tinkers, that like to take things apart, put them back together, see how they work. And then there are classroom type learners that need structure and a lesson plan and a professor that they can ask questions to. Uh, and both are completely okay. But I think that when it comes to something like visual effects, there's so many resources already online that you can already start learning from and pulling from. You don't need a fancy school or anything to really get started. When I was 14 and I was getting into visual effects, I just started downloading programs and Googling and watching YouTube videos and I found Andrew Kramer and that was a revelation for me. So I started online and I didn't go to a special school. I didn't you know, go to any special trade or vocational school. I just decided that this is what I really enjoyed doing and I was gonna get into it. I loved filmmaking and this was just another tool that if I learned it could help me make better films and better movies and tell better stories. On the flip side, there are so many advanced techniques in visual effects that, you know, it's, it's hard to just learn them from an internet source. You know, sometimes it's better to go through a classroom type setting, like like a Nomen, for example, Nomen School of Visual Effects uh, here in LA, which is huge. Like I said, at the end of the day, it just depends on the type of learner you are. And I think my best advice to people that are just starting to get into visual effects that want to start learning is to start doing. Like, take whatever camera you have, take your iPhone even, and just start recording things and start thinking of effects to do and start start practicing, start figuring things out on your own. You know, it's gonna be frustrating. Learning visual effects is frustrating, especially when you have no idea what you're doing, but stick with it. I promise you it gets better and you just have to keep loving it and keep working at it and eventually you'll get there. Start shooting, start practicing, and you can start figuring out what type of learner you are by doing that. So I hope this helps, especially anybody trying to get into visual effects, what you should do, where you should go. I'm gonna put a link in the description to all the bigger tutorial sites that could be really beneficial for all you guys. Uh, lots of resources down there, so make sure you check that out. Thank you guys for watching and more videos coming soon. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're just going up from here, baby, so stay tuned.